Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making 30 minute meals in the Instant Pot. So it's official. Sports season, track season, everything has started and our schedule is jam packed. Now, even when it's snowing outside like it is this last week, games are still being played. So dinner time has to be fast and easy and right now dinner's warm because it's freezing. So that's why I'm sharing 30 minute meals in the Instant Pot. This is from start to finish. That includes the cooking time. So if you're ready, let's just jump right in. The first recipe is Instant Pot loaded mac and cheese. All right, for this recipe, we're gonna need some cheddar cheese, some seasoned salt, some ground mustard, some onion powder. We got some pepper. You need some chicken broth. Of course, you need the macaroni and then milk cream cheese, and a little bit of butter. And then we'll have some toppings that we'll show you in a minute. Now, if you've never made macaroni and cheese in the Instant Pot, it's a game changer. You're gonna add two and a half cups of elbow macaroni just right into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Then we're gonna measure out three cups of chicken broth, and then just pour it right on top of the noodles. So we have about fourth a teaspoon of pepper, fourth a teaspoon of seasoned salt, we have half a teaspoon of onion powder and then one teaspoon of ground mustard. Now I'm just gonna mix this around just a little bit, mix up our seasonings and just making sure every single noodle is covered with the liquid. We don't want dry, crunchy noodles. Okay, ready to go. All right, so you're gonna make sure your lid is on. If you have a little knob that says sealing or venting, make sure it's on sealing. Then we're gonna go down to pressure cook. So you have pressure cook or a manual button and we're gonna go four or five minutes I'm gonna do four minutes because that's how long I cook pasta for. So you set it, you can walk away. Okay, when it's all done, you wanna release the pressure. Now I already did that just to make life a little bit easier. So we're gonna go ahead and open our lid. Nice, noodles are all cooked. Just gonna stir them around just a little bit. Now if you do it right, you shouldn't have a ton of liquid in here. That's what we want. We're gonna add some along with our cheese and everything else. Why the noodles are hot, you're gonna go ahead and add four ounces of cream cheese and one ounce of butter. Now we're just gonna mix this around until it is pretty much melted. Okay, that is pretty melted. So we're gonna go ahead and add a half cup of milk and then three cups of cheddar cheese. Then we're just gonna mix it all in until the cheese is nice and melted. Okay, first of all, I just wanna show you how cheesy <laughs> <laughs> this mac and cheese is. It's so creamy and cheesy, but we need to make it loaded. I have two tablespoons of melted butter here, and I'm gonna add about, I don't know, a half cup or so of panko. So we're just gonna mix this till it's all mixed through, and then add that to the top of the mac and cheese. Then you can go ahead and add some bacon bits. And one of my favorite parts is the green onions or green chives, whatever you wanna use. There you go, loaded mac and cheese. All right, you ready? Well, you've already eaten most of it. Do <laughs> <laughs> you wanna tell me what you rank the mac and cheese? Okay, uh, five for sure. Five, awesome. The next recipe is our ground turkey taco chili. All right, just checking real quick. Still sleeping. For this recipe, you're gonna need some black beans, some refried beans, some delicious corn, mm -mm. diced tomatoes, whoa, cheese, it's fallen in the back. Then we have diced green chilies, we have a cut up onion. I like using the ground turkey. You can use whatever percentage you want. I like getting it as lean as possible. And then we have taco seasoning, ranch seasoning, some garlic, and then last but not least, some chicken broth. All right, first you're gonna push the saute button on your Instant Pot and you're gonna wait until this is hot. Once it's hot, you're gonna start putting everything in. Now we're gonna throw in our turkey. Whoop, not that. You guys do that too. I always dump it in and that always goes in with it. And then I'm also gonna throw my onion right on top. And you guys know I love a good chopster. This is my favorite. And I'm just gonna break it up and we're gonna cook the turkey until it cooks through. All right, now that the turkey is all done cooking, we're just gonna throw everything in. So we're gonna start with garlic. We have about three cloves of garlic in here. Next, we'll add one packet of our ranch seasoning and then one packet of taco seasoning. Okay, then add your black beans. I rinsed and drained those. Then add in one can of diced tomatoes, one can of corn. Now I rinsed these. You can leave the liquid in there if you want, but it doesn't matter. One four ounce can of your diced chilies. 
four cups of chicken broth. Now I love using these carton containers because I know it's just four cups and I don't have to think about it. I've never done this before, so we're gonna do refried beans, but we wanna do little bits at a time because we don't want it to clog on the bottom of the can. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon or so and just slowly put in your refried beans. We're gonna put in the whole can. Okay, then I'm just gonna stir this just for a second, make sure we get the turkey off the bottom. So we don't want it to burn, right? No one likes the burn notice. Okay, go ahead and put your lid on. Now this Instant Pot has one of those knobs, so we're gonna make sure that it's on ceiling. Then we're gonna come down here. I have a pressure cook button here, or it can say manual. So we're gonna do pressure cook, and then it just cooks for five minutes. All right, so when you're all done, you can go ahead and release the pressure. All right, once all the steam's out, take that off. Whoa, looks good. Oh, those refried beans are like all melted in there, but it, it has that good flavor. All right, and that's literally all you have to do. And you can just scoop it up and add a little cheese on top, and you're good to go. All right, Harper is officially awake. <laughs> but I'm gonna do the taste test of the chili. Yes. Yeah. Mmm. They're just good. You can taste the refried beans in there. I'm gonna give it a four, just cause it's not my most favorite chili, but it's still really good. So four out of five. All right, and the last recipe, which is my favorite of this group, it's our Instant Pot Big Mac Sloppy Joes. Okay, so first we're gonna start with a pound and a half to two pounds of ground beef. We want an onion, we have some pepper, we have some seasoned salt, and then we have some good old W sauce. So this is what we're gonna use for the beef. We're also gonna make the special Big Mac sauce. So you have some French dressing, relish, mayo, vinegar, some ketchup, a little bit of sugar, and some salt. Now we're gonna make this in our Instant Pot. You can easily do it on the stove top too, but we're gonna push the saute button and wait until this gets hot and then we'll start throwing things in. All right, we are ready for our beef. We're just gonna throw it in and then throw in a half an onion too. We're gonna cook this all up. All right, for the sauce, we're gonna add three-fourths cup of mayonnaise. And with this recipe, I mean, we're gonna kind of just guess on three-fourths cup. It doesn't have to be exact. And we're gonna have three tablespoons of our Catalina dressing. Two tablespoons of ketchup. We can go a little over. I like ketchup. Two tablespoons of relish. Now, one tablespoon or so of onion, diced onion, and then about one and a half teaspoon of white vinegar. One teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of salt, or about an eighth of a teaspoon. We're just gonna eyeball. Then we're gonna mix this all together. This is the special sauce. We had to turn the lights on because the storm is rolling through, but if you can see the grease is puddling up, and so I'm going to drain, drain the grease here. I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna add one teaspoon of seasoned salt a fourth teaspoon of pepper, and then a half tablespoon of the W sauce. And we're just gonna mix in the seasoning. All right, so we're gonna save about half a cup of the special sauce. You can always make more if you need more. That's a little more, but that's okay. And then we're gonna dump the rest into the beef. All right, now it's time to put everything together. So we're going to add our yummy beef onto the bun. We wanna make it a Big Mac, so we gotta think of, okay, everything that's on a Big Mac, right? Then you have your American cheese. Then you need our shredded lettuce. Then our pickles. And then you need a little bit more of your special sauce, right? That's what makes the Big Mac. Mm. Now that is a good burger. So along with all our craziness, we also decided to get chickens this last week. Anyways, if you want more simple, easy recipes, I've got plenty for you right up here. All right, guys, I'll see you later.